because so time wise we're now at the recording sessions and I want to read what Alex Norse wrote about what exactly happened after that because in the video that we saw in the introduction we heard oh Alex Norse went to premiere of the movie and he found out that the, his music hadn't been used well this is what he actually wrote Kubrick was present meaning during the scoring sessions in and out uh, he was pressured for time as well he made uh, very good suggestions musically and I had written two sequences for the opening we talked about that um, so I assumed all was going well, that with his participation and interest in the recording. Um, but somehow I had a hunch that whatever I wrote to supplant Strauss's Zarathustra would not satisfy Kubrick, even though I used the same structure but brought it up to date in idiom and dramatic punch. Also, how could I compete with Mendelssohn's Scherzo for, uh, for Midsummer Night's Dream? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought I did a pretty damn, I, I thought I did pretty damn well in that respect. <laughs> in any case, uh, after having composed and recorded over 40 minutes of music in those two weeks, I waited around for the opportunity to look at the balance of the film, spot the music, etc. During that period, I was rewriting some of the stuff that I was not completely satisfied with. And that's, I actually found that out as I was looking Looking at these sketches because some of the stuff that was written down, like there were some alternates that had never been recorded. So that must have been from that time as he was just waiting around. Um, Kubrick even suggested over the phone some changes that I could make in the subsequent recording. After 11 tense days of waiting to see more film in order to record in early February, I received word from Kubrick that no more score was necessary, that he was going to use breathing effects for the remainder of the film. It was very strange, and though, uh, and I thought perhaps I would still be called upon to compose more music. I even, suge even suggested to Kubrick that I could do whatever necessary back in LA at the MGM Studios. Nothing happened. I went to a screening in New York, and by the way, that screening happened on April 1st. April Fool's Day. <laughs> I went to a screening in New York, and there were most of the temporary tracks. Temporary in quotations. Well, what can I say? It was a great, frustrating experience, and despite the mixed reaction to the music, I think the Victorian approach with mid-European overtones was just not in keeping with the brilliant concept of Clark and Kubrick. Mm. Um, and overall, uh, you know, North was kind of reluctant to talk about this in interviews, understandably. Um, but there you have it. So let's look at the next slide. These are the.